All right, Woody, it's the end of the, the Airsoft meetup. It is. I'm told we lost. We were the no tapes. Okay, was that in the zombies? I don't know. I thought we won. It seemed like it was going well. I, it <laughs> Did was you a, ga it was gathering things, right? Didn't you gather up materials? Yeah, we had all sorts of materials and gathering. We had those guys spawn trap, but he, someone just said we lost. I don't know. It's all good. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's a winner, right? There you go. All right. So, um, so before we start, uh, before we get to my actual prepared questions, how do you and your wife do your dual comms? I mean, you ha do you have two separate mics? Tech wise? Yeah. Yeah, we have two mics. She has a habit of not looking at the mic you know, like she's supposed to. Right. So I found one. <laughs> it reminds me of how you get a horse to eat oats. Like it, it straps on the back of her <laughs> the neck. Feed bag? <laughs> a feed bag. Yeah. Oh. So now, regardless of what she does, the mic just follows her. And, uh, you know, we get good audio. Okay. So. All right. Well, um, so how, how have you enjoyed your first time airsofting? It was really good. So I had played paintball before, uh -huh. and this, the background there translated. My first life, I got seven kills. Oh, wow. And then I got shot in the hat. <laughs> yeah, I wore a baseball cap, and uh, it didn't hurt or anything. It, I just sort of heard it ticking off the end. I was like, all right, I'm hit. Uh, so did you, see, did you see anybody cheating? No, but I'm told it happened, yeah, well, but I didn't see it. That's the problem with Airsoft, I suppose. I've heard. All right, so um, was this your first event as a family? I'm thinking. Um, shucks, I want to say we've done stuff. We've never flown out for an event like this before. But Jackie and Hope have met fans and done smaller scale mm -hmm. things. Sometimes we get recognized, like when we go to restaurants or, or whatever. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, so it's that's a similar kind of an event. It's not an event, but it's like the same sort of meet and greet, you know, you see somebody new and sign yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So, so how did people treat your, your, your family and your wife, your, your hot agent? <laughs> Super well. Like everybody was really excited. We took pictures for hours today. So, so you signed a lot of things? Signed a lot of autographs. Um, What's the oddest thing you signed? I once had a like 14 year old guy. He was really heavy, mm -hmm. and he wrote me in advance. And he's like, "Woody, if I come to your meetup, will you sign me tits?" Oh. And I, I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> like, sure, why not?" <laughs> yeah. So I actually signed on top of his T-shirt. But sure enough, it was a young guy. He was heavy and uh -huh. uh, fairly, you know, yeah. could use a man bra. And well, and I, well I signed his boobs. <laughs> That's right. the weirdest thing I've ever signed. Get that man a bro. <laughs> All right. Um, well, what's your next big event? Uh, trying to so I think the next one is a paintball event in Chicago. Okay. That's what we're doing next. Is that in a couple months? I, I, I think it's in two weeks. Oh and wow! And then sometime in June we have uh, one in New York City, and that's a uh, it's like a music festival called Digifest. Oh okay. And is that for subscribers? I mean, anybody can go, or do you have to be? They're, so there's they sell tickets at like thirty bucks. Oh okay. And um, but it's not just me. There's like a bunch of YouTubers, mostly music guys. But they're going to have a gaming tent, and I'm going to hang out there. And oh, okay. So it's so. a meetup. Yeah. 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 All right. And a concert. Okay. Well, um, uh, what? Well, I guess we kind of covered this one. How does how does airsoft compare to paintball? Oh, so they're comparable. People keep talking about the cheating in airsoft, mm -hmm. but there's cheating in paintball too. People wipe yeah. their paint off. They, yeah, that's true. You know, they, they're and a bounce doesn't count. Bounces in, in, don't count, yeah. whereas in airsoft they tend to count. But yeah. a lot of the core strategies, actually, paintball, airsoft, and Call of Duty all kind of work. Like you, you want to move from cover to cover. You want to limit the amount of you that can be shot at. You know, mm -hmm. just show up the top of your head in your gun. You want to, uh, you know, control the engagement. That's the okay. thing. <laughs> That's what put it straight. All right. So final question: um, What what would you say your KD was today? It was seven. So it's just I guess it, you yes. didn't respawn. I respawned, and then I spent the entire time trying to, like, gather up my wife and daughter and such, and then it ended. Okay. It, as it ended, we were just going in for more kills. Colin and I were belly crawling through the bush, oh, wow. and then the buzzer went off. See, making memories. There, it, That was the best part of the whole thing. Well, it, meeting subs is cool, but, like, yeah. Colin was all decked out like a Marine, uh -huh. and uh, we're belly crawling through the brush, and... Uh, hanging out with family, like this is way better than whatever I was otherwise going to do today. Yeah, you guys were all geared up. Did, did you have? Did you like your gun? Yes, my gun was amazing. It was some high-end M4 with a red dot sight on it. And wow. They uh, they hooked me up with a good gun. I don't get to keep it, but it was oh, good to well, use. You know, <laughs> it, it worked. You got seven seven to one. That that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, I didn't even think that I might have had like better equipment. I'm going to choose to believe it was all skill. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's all that Call of Duty practice. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Body by Xbox. <laughs>